Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed my last video on the Tesla uh, delivery, the touchless delivery. I know it was a short five uh, minute video, um, but I was just overwhelmed with all the um, delivery process and the paperwork and all that stuff. Um, so now today, now I'm at a supercharged station, as you guys can see, um, the car is charging right now. Um, and I decided I'm gonna do a full interior a review of the Tesla Model uh, Y and this is the 2021 model um, that just got released so all the customers who placed the order I bet in October and parts of September uh, when they pick up the car for delivery they probably got upgraded to the 2021 uh, model there's a couple minor um, upgrades on the 2021 uh, before I bought my car I was doing a lot of video review on the Tesla Model Y and um, I know that, that I have the Model Y there's a couple other stuff that I noticed is different from uh, the Tesla 2020 model so right off the bat um, you guys are aware where it's a, a big console uh, the center screen is like a tablet uh, it gives you all your driving information uh, looking at the steering wheel uh, pretty much the same has the big Tesla logo there for the horn airbags uh, they maintain the two wheels uh, which are obviously it's customizable your volume and this one here you can customize it to all different um, options um, I really like these wheels. They're very um, Like very uh, I would say Precise in terms of what you're looking to get from the control and then you have the rear view mirror uh, the windshield wipers and the indicators um, Which is you know pretty um, awesome also the headlights bright beam low beam uh, that's quite awesome too. Uh, let's look at the door panel. So, received this car. Um, I did a full, full review of all the um, outdoor exterior. But in terms of the indoor, uh, so you still have this um, leather texture. Um, I think it's vegan leather on the uh, window trim. Then you go into this like carpet texture here, which is um, sort of like plush carpet. Um, and then on the door, um, actual button here to open the door, it does have the the graphics to, uh, to let people know you press that button and it pops the door open. I love the leather uh, or the vegan leather stitch in here on the arm of the door and then you have the control for the, the mirrors, um, the windows, sorry. So we have the four control for the window, everything else still the same. Um, nice big um, uh, panel here where you can put whatever you need to put in there but nice storage uh, very minimalist um, interior like with like we've come used to with all the Tesla um, on the top here we have the dash and then we have this accent uh, like wood panel and then we have the vent and later on you'll see how cool it is um, to control the vent this is my very first Tesla um, so I'm obviously blown away with all the features of this car um, as you guys can see I haven't so with the Model Y you still don't get a um, a floor mat uh, you get the carpet uh, floor pad that's provided by Tesla but you don't get any floor mat and I prefer to have something like because um, obviously when it rains or snow we're bringing in whatever we have on our shoes onto the car and I don't want to mess up the uh, carpet um, so I want to get I'm gonna be buying something that's a little bit more vinyl or rubber so we can put the um, our shoes on so we don't mess up the actual uh, carpet there is the pedestals um, all black trim I believe um, newer version had the brass trim or the um, yeah the brass trim here it's all black trim on the center console um, piano this is the piano um, piano like plastic console which obviously is a magnet for fingerprint although you can see less of the fingerprint I'm not sure if they made any changes to it but I've been um, using it for the last couple of days now um, and I haven't really seen a lot of the fingerprint it does it is very glossy I wish it was matte uh, but it is glossy so you can get reflections and clear off of it um, but hey you know it's really nice really simple um, so beyond this console here you press down um, you have two wireless charging cheap pads so you can charge two wireless um, phones or devices on this pad uh, which is pretty cool I don't think there was that was included in the first version 
um, and then on the second um, console here which is a flip up um, door it's very deep uh, as you guys can see um, and then it has the back there we have the uh, sentry mode charger this actually um, this actually pops down here so you get more access inside here and that's where you have your sentry mode charger um, which you can use to obviously um, store your um, information on the security of the car so you close this up pretty deep I went ahead and purchased this on Amazon which is a tray that pretty much sits right here and this tray allows you to um, to add other stuff on it like coins or if you have keys or anything you can just put it right here you don't have to drop it in a deep storage um, which you know is pretty deep uh, tends to um, take a long time to get it what I did like I did notice there's actually a light inside here LED light that uh, in the night let's say you want to grab something that light is automatically triggered when it's open which is pretty cool all right so as we move um, on downwards we have the cup holders right here uh, so they have this leather texture inside uh, brass trim and then it's all the piano glossy finish obviously uh, it's very dusty with the piano glossy which is something I noticed last couple of days um, as we move into the passenger seat here I'm gonna get my wife stuff out of the way um, so you have the vegan leather which is really nice feels really nice very warm then they have the tall like headrest uh, which is pretty cool because you feel so much elevated from the floor and then on this uh, door panel for the passenger you have the um, door indicator on how to open the door as well as the axe control for the window um, you have the surround song here's the speaker system obviously this is our flip up um, protector and what I like about this here it has is really beautiful um, mirror lights so for you ladies out there um, or wives if you're in the passenger seat um, and you pull this visor down you actually have access to the mirror which is protected by two side lighting which is really good if you're doing your makeup or any last minute adjustment which is really nice and a nice touch from Tesla um, on the pa on driver side um, really, really really the same thing um, you pull the mirror the visor down you have the two mirrors on the side and you have the access to the visor um moving on i do notice there's two lights here um those are, i guess are the cabin lights which is pretty cool um i guess the reason why it's up in front because if you guys look on the glass here it's one piece glass that starts right here and it extends all the way down to the trunk which is just incredible uh, it is tinted um, so in case uh, you're you parked outdoor and, and there's a lot of sunlight um, you actually have that tint protection so you don't get obviously sunburn from the sunlight uh, gotta say been using this car for the last two days since I accept delivery I love these headrests um, that came with the car it really gives that full back support as well as head support which a lot of people you know take for granted but you know having the ability to head, uh, put your head up while you're doing a long road trip does really help with next train um, so let's take a look at the center console I know you guys are all excited the huge iPad that comes with it what are some of the features is there anything different uh, we'll take a look and you tell me in the comment box below all right my friends so let's talk about the center control I want to dedicate more um, time on this here because obviously there's so much happening on this screen um, and while the char car is charging it gives me enough time to really uh, talk about this so right now um, I am at 65% the car says the supercharge station right here um, in Riverdale uh, it's giving me 20 minutes more to get full charge and while I'm doing that uh, I'm gonna take you guys through each one of the menu options below here and see if there's anything different and just show you how really user-friendly this car is so right off the bat um, you on this screen here which is the drive option so you see the actual car right here you press this it brings up a whole menu here to control your driving experience um, and also gives you access to control the front and the trunk so you'll be able to open the uh, front however I guess my sl slight disappointment I wish this was different 
uh, once you open the trunk, you actually have to step out of the car, go out and lock it manually. Whereas in the trunk, um, once you open the trunk, uh, you have the option to close it um, automatically so you don't have to step out of it which I re really wish Tesla would have integrated some way of uh, locking the trunk um, automatically versus having people step out in front of the car and, and lock it otherwise to that it's really nice uh, lots of storage I'll take you guys um, in a minute to show you uh, this the storage capacity in the trunk and uh, the trunk is just massive um, on this screen here you have obviously um, controls for the camera so you can see the, the the backup camera as well as the two side cameras which tells you on your left and right uh, whatever vehicle is around you or if there's any obstacles in the way um, and that is right here on the camera access setting uh, then here's the supercharge or the energy setting uh, right now you can see I'm supercharged in 20 minutes 66% right now in 20 minutes I should have a full charge and then there's some graphics here that shows you the charging that's happening and it's actually telling you life information so right now you can see I'm getting about 45 kilowatts and uh, which is giving me up to 190 miles an hour um, and then positive 13 kilowatts um, and then right now it tells you the charging port is locked this car is um, actually a dual motor so it's for all-wheel drive obviously use more energy and right here what I thought was really cool um, is that it tells you how much currently your session costs so if you're um, obviously um, you know budget conscious you want to you know obviously keep it below a certain cost you'll see the life information populate right here uh, I'm really lucky that I was able to get a thousand supercharged mile free uh, by using a referral code from one of my colleagues who purchased this car um, please take a look at my referral code if you're contemplating buying a car use a referral code you will get a thousand supercharged miles free which I can't stress enough how useful that is um, so moving back here into the console then we have the second option here which is the voice command and obviously that allows you to access all controls on the car including going on a web um, support and this will take you directly to any web page that you need to go all through the voice command um, one thing that we found really useful is while we were driving um, we we're new to the whole car so we we're trying to learn it and it was really easy to use the voice command to tell voice command show me supercharge outlet uh, super, uh, sorry supercharge store um, and this will just show you the super uh, supercharge store that is closest to you which is really useful access to control the wipers right here which I found really strangely located at the bottom I thought it would be somewhere more at the top but you know this is the design um, and then as you swipe right you see the access for all the um, pressure sensors on the car so you see the tire pressure on each one of the car which is pretty cool and over here it tells you the miles um, so we drove 2.6 miles took us 10 minutes um, and obviously more information about the car which is pretty cool so let's close this here. so all that information um, on the actual driving experience is over here on the car so there are some quick controls uh, which obviously you can put exterior light on auto uh, you can put it on you can put it in parking mode or you can take the exterior lights off um, I keep it on auto because the car is really sensitive to the outdoor um, lighting and if you find certain parts of the road is dim or it's not properly lit this the auto um, setting will automatically kick in and light the road which is, which is pretty fantastic uh, there is the fog light control so you can turn it on and off um, this model does have fog lights I know the model 3 standard and long range does not have a fog light uh, but this model I really like that it has the fog light option um, also adjustments for your mirrors uh, your side mirrors uh, is right here so you can adjust your side mirrors and you can also adjust your steering wheel which I think, thought was really cool um, so if you press this here it tells you to use the uh, controls here the wheels here to adjust the steering wheels up and down or in and out which is pretty um, I guess fantastic I've never seen it before and that's the thing I love with Tesla's they find so many uh, crazy ways to just make things uh, easy easy to use um, moving on um, this full options 
allows you to fold the mirrors in so as you guys can see the side mirrors will fold in um, and you have this really weird option here that says always fold mirror at this location uh, which I guess like if you're in uh, if you park on a road um, and that's where you park all the time you can activate that setting so that way your mirrors are always folded when you're at that specific geographic location um, it does have the option of mirror lock or windows lock sorry so uh, I guess if you have kids at the back and they tend to play with the buttons you can put a lock on the window so it doesn't go up and down um, at that moment brightness I find it the tablet here is really bright uh, even at 100% I can never see myself using that so I keep it down to about you know 10 12% um, or 13 percent obviously one thing you have to keep in, con in mind is everything drains battery so the less of them it is obviously you're conserving more battery so I typically keep it at a 13% in the night I might bump it up a little bit more but in a bright daylight the light that comes on top is more than enough um, you do have the access here for the glove box which um, obviously is pretty uh, controversial right now I know a lot of people prefer a manual option to open the glove box um, but in, in the Tesla Model Y and most of the Tesla is actually digital so if I press this here it pops the glove, lock, glove box open um, however, it does not automatically lock it and this is the same thing I have with the front I wish it would automatically lock it so you don't have to keep leaning over Here all the way over here stretched out to lock the glove box I know there's a new software upgrade that's coming soon. That's gonna uh, give you the option to enter a pin uh, That way if anyone ever breaks into your car, they can't open the glove box by just pressing this option They will need a pin to activate the glove box and I know that's where we would keep all our uh, secure stuff um, payment cards and all that stuff uh, moving on so that's the quick controls the next thing we have here is lights uh, this is obviously headlights exterior um, which we went through a little bit um, front fog lights uh, dome lights you can keep that on uh, for auto ambient light which I haven't tried yet but uh, I guess the ambient light is um i got i gotta look with that that is turning on but it does have the option of ambient light in most cars the ambient light is typically the interior and i'm not seeing any ambient light in the interior but we'll see um i'm still playing around with some of the features here so moving on we have um headlights after exit steering wheel after exit i keep this on on auto um so, but you could customize this where you can um, turn on the headlights or turn off the headlights after you exit the vehicle or steering wheel um, lights on when you're not steering various settings obviously just lots there you can do just want to introduce you guys to some of those features um, the fact that you can control the headlights is just unbelievable I've, I've never seen a vehicle where you can control so much on your headlights which is just crazy but this is Tesla and everything everything that's impossible is possible with these guys here um, locks uh, which is I thought was really cool um, so you can customize different keys so we have two keys one for me one for my wife um, and it tells you um, to to add those keys on the car you can delete it easily on known keys these are the keys that was used to deliver the car um, so we can delete the unknown keys and tap here to remove the keys so that you put the keys actually right here um, if you need to remove it and I have mine in the case right now but basically if you need to remove the keys you just tap it right here and then you can remove the keys um, what else do we have so we have window lock child lock always walk away door lock uh, which I'm actually gonna keep that on um, so that way when you step away from the car the doors will lock um, and it does have the option here to exclude home which I'm not sure why but uh, we will keep that on um, more settings here car left open notification we will actually need to put that on both car and window so I'll get a notification if I walk away and the windows and the car is left open um, and you can also exclude home which I'm not sure why but yeah they have that option so those are all the obviously usable settings for locks and these control all the exterior and interior locks of the car display uh, we have display mode we can put it on auto night uh, which changes the display to dark black which is easier to see 
um, and we have D which is obviously bright ambient white or bright white um, but I'll keep that on auto less uh, adjustment needed and then you can adjust the brightness one thing I find really strange is um, screen clean mode and I was reading up on this here so you would actually turn this on if you're cleaning the console screen uh, which dis which deactivate all the settings so you don't randomly push a button on a screen while you're putting a screen protector on or cleaning the screen um, so this is a really important option so if you install any screen protector you will push this on and then install the screen protector that way you don't randomly activate any options there uh, language you have English uh, yes there's more options there for language um, there's language and language navigation uh, right now the car comes with Spanish and Fra uh, French um, and in terms of language spoken for voice command there is um, a few options here time format you can use the 12 hour format the 24 hour format uh, energy display you can display energy in kilowattage or as or in distance keep the energy in kilowattage um, distance can be displayed in kilometers or miles in the US we use miles temperature can be in Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius we'll keep it at Fahrenheit and tire pressure can be in PSI or bar we'll keep it on PSI so those are all your display options and driving options I thought was really interesting um, so this uh, vehicle that we have here is the uh, long range um, so long range you have two modes I know in the performance there's additional modes uh, but on the long range acceleration we have standard and chill uh, for driving experience acceleration steering we have comfort standard and sport um, and then in terms of stopping mode we have creep roll or hole um, I've been using the hole I love the hole um, because when you take your foot off the brake the car actually slowly stop uh, and it's a complete stop which is pretty cool the roll would be um, when you take your foot off the brake the car will roll a little bit um, I find it will be using unnecessary engine um, battery so probably not a good thing if you're trying to save battery and creep obviously will be moving slowly creeping up to the lane or the car in front but again it will be using battery so it depends on you uh, depends on your experience if you want to use a battery or not or you want to conserve battery or not you can decide what mode you want uh, in terms of the acceleration i like the chill um which which means you get an instant um power as soon as you tap on the acceleration or you can go standard i've just been using the chill and i really like the chill um but in terms of steering i might try the sports steering i like the comfort right now but that's the only one i've tried um, but i do like the uh, option that there's a sport option what I found useful here is slip start um, so in very cold climate like in Canada or wherever you have a lot of snow the slip start uh, once activated slip start allows you to it uses um, free wheel stuck in snow stand, sand and mud so it basically activates um, the engine in a certain way that it helps you to um, get out of a situation where you're stuck in the snow or sand or mud um, I obviously we we don't have that option here or that uh, climate here but there's something I would find useful in countries where um, you're dealing with a lot of snow what else do we have so I want to show you guys so I have 10 minutes left in a supercharge I'm already at 79 percent and 10 minutes more I will be at a hundred percent which is just you know that's why it's called supercharge you're getting a lot of um, power uh, in a short period of time let's keep going so autopilot um, I'm, I activated the auto steering beta version that's testing right now and then you have full self-driving visualization preview which tells you actually I'll show you guys later but when you're driving it shows you all the um, traffic lights that you're approaching as well as the cars right beside you and it's pretty accurate it will tell you if it's a sedan or if it's a truck or a van it'll show you the graphics of what it is um what else do we have uh speed limit warning um so i'm gonna set this off because it's slightly annoying um i guess it's really important it depends on where you're driving but as soon as you accelerate beyond like even one mile over the speed limit the chime goes off and it's a little bit annoying so I'm gonna turn it off for now 
um, you have speed limit um, and you can do an offset on the speed limit you have the option of relative and absolute uh, those are something that you can use I'm not gonna use it um, I'm not doing a lot of driving so no need for that right now uh, forward collision you have the sensitivity set in here so you can do forward you can turn forward collision off late or early I have it on medium uh, forward collision is how close you are uh, towards the other car in terms of generating an impact uh, lane departure avoidance um, so this lane de departure avoidance uh, allows you to give warning uh, so you're getting a warning when you're departing lane and also if uh, there's a car right beside you and departing a lane um, instead of hitting a car you'll have emergency braking so it has I've activated emergency lane departure avoidance so I don't uh, change the lane when there's a car right in my blind spot um, activated blind spot collision warning chime and then emer activated emergency braking and obstacle um, aw obstacle aware acceleration which means you don't go too fast uh, when there's obstacle on road uh, the, the, the sensors will detect the obstacle so you don't crash into it so a lot of safety features here uh, moving on we have navigation so it has this, the navigation volume at the top here um, automatic navigation uh, which which you set your home so whenever you are wherever you are you just click on home and it'll take you directly to your home um, route so you don't have uh, access to go in and type it in every time and also you can link that to your calendar so that way it knows when you're usually going home and the car can activate that simply uh, with you I've activated this uh, trip planner and it's in beta mode right now it's been tested uh, which means you can add stops at superchargers if changing if charges needed to reach a destination uh, so basically if you're doing a long trip by activating this here um, and let's say the, that trip that you're doing is um, 700 miles and the car basically gives you 320 miles um, so you'll probably need to stop at a supercharge at least two times to get some charge so what this does is activates it it shows you on the map and it will give add those to your destination um so that way it doesn't take away from how far you have to go so if let's say you're on the, uh, the highway and it's telling you okay you could you can go to the supercharged station to uh charge up so you can continue um your road trip it will just show you on your destination where the supercharged station is and that way you can access um well continue to get to where you need to go without taking up too much of your time it's in beta mode i hope they roll it out i saw it when i was driving on the highway uh, when it popped up that we needed a charge uh, online routing which uh, it says right here generates optimal route and takes real traffic time conditions into account while navigating so i guess that's really cool um one thing i did notice when i was driving it um from the from the delivery center is that it actually was so accurate on the time it took uh, to get home it, there was ba basically whatever it told me it was accurate to the T because it was taking a account the traffic that was on the road um, which is just fantastic you have options here to avoid ferries avoid tolls and avoid use of HOV which is really good because um, obviously if you're not if you don't need to um, I like to avoid tolls I hate paying tolls but it, you can turn that off and turn it on depends on what your personal needs are safety security features um, uh, I guess so I need to put my foot on it so break park braking brake is on you can select a rear on the steering column so this option uh, I'm not really sure what it is I see it popped up there when you take your foot off the brake it goes away uh, when you put your foot on the brake Yeah, we put a fit on a brake, it uh, disappeared, which is just weird. Uh, power off, I guess, um, powers off the complete car. And then there's a speed limit sensor um, where you can tell the car what the maximum speed limit the car should ever be driven at. Um, and I guess we should probably take keep that on so that way we don't go over the speed limit. But you know, it's all based on personal preference. Uh, service, I really like that um, it has this thing called white wiper service mode which uh, which you would activate when you're loading the wiper uh, into the wiper solution into the um, tank which is really cool owner's manual right here adjust headlights adjust tow i mean towing 
uh, wheel configuration notification I need to turn this on um, so I get some notification um, on the car all right so and then camera calibration I'm not gonna do it right now but that calibrates the cameras and factory reset option is right there in case let's say you had some kids in the car they mess up they mess around with your setting uh, you can easily reset that to factory setting and then on the software I'm um, gonna block all this here this is my VIN number but under the software you guys can see um, I signed up for premium connectivity until 2021 autopilot is included long range dual models right now I have 47 miles on the car I bought it brand new with zero miles which is just fantastic uh, so now I can see how many miles on the car and then it gives you a nice graphic of what a car looks like which is just fantastic all right uh, so I think I went through everything there on the drive option um, I have four minutes left I'm at 86% on the supercharged four minutes and I'll be at a hundred percent so let's see how much more we can do um, under the music option so the music pops up you have all the music in your phone that you can play you lift this up and you have little controls there um, it brings you to radio streaming Spotify karaoke tuning USB settings any music um, I did activate karaoke so let's see yeah there's some karaoke option here um, so that way obviously for in car entertainment especially when you're waiting to supercharge you can do karaoke okay so let's take that out before YouTube um, blocks the video there's the radio option and then you have the phone you can add different phones but you can stream off your phone or do the online streaming through Tesla which is pretty cool so let's see three minutes left before we get to 100% let's see what else we can use um, so bottom here there's this arrow up feature which gives you the option to call persons in your contact list then you have the calendar where you can navigate the calendar um, I haven't added anything yet and then obviously the cameras where you can see what's going on around your car um, energy usage it tells you all the energy that you um, are using the energy consumption per trip uh, which is pretty cool let's see what else uh, charging you'll see obviously the charging um, that's happening in your car right now we're almost at 100% there's a few more to go um, the ability to browse the web I did find the web a little slow but you can obviously go to any website um, look at any video while you're um, you know doing your charging or doing your work um, I've seen some people use this tablet here to do their work the zoom call um, pretty interesting among the stuff you can do but basically you can browse the web you can be doing all your work right off this tablet um, since it has the ability to access the web uh, what else do we have so we have entertainment and this is all the funny arcade games or different games you can play um, some of them I've noticed uh, says updating I'm not sure waiting waiting to update I'm not sure why that is uh, where some of them have already uh, been uh, available for, to play I gotta read up on that but I do did notice a few of them have this uh, option that says waiting to update so you can't actually play anything um, and then we have the toolbox or the tie box which obviously we've seen this video many times you can change the um, the uh, farts um, types of fart there you go and you can have uh, option to fart on demand or fart on signal uh, you can really make play some uh, games with this here with people in your car then we have the tracks where you can record different music um, I do like this option here where you can set a cozy mode let's say you're in a drive-by theater you can activate a um, fire place basically right in your car to give it a nice cozy feeling one thing I want to mention um, with this here once you turn this on the vents actually produce this warm air so it feels like a fireplace right now the vent is giving me this warm like air that's coming through the vents so it does give you that cozy cozy feeling and there you go the music kicks in so let's end this here before youtube flags the music that's copyright but that yeah, it's really romantic uh sketch pad allows you to create different sketches mars um planetary species transform your map 
and learn about services on the Mars. They've added the Santa mode, which jingles all the way. And then we have rainbow colors, which will highlight rainbows on your lane. Well, one minute left, we're almost there um, at a full charge. What else do we have that I want to talk about? So that's all the control on this section here. Um, what I did find interesting is the heated control. So the heated control is fantastic. Um, this is how you start a heated seat on the uh, driver side. And then you have control for the passenger side. Um, and then you have the dual control for the vents on either side. Which is pretty interesting. If someone, if the driver likes it a little colder and then the passenger likes it a little warmer, you can make that adjustment. Um, and one thing that I find really fantastic is you can actually um, adjust the direction of airflow. So if you if you want the airflow straight towards you, you will just slide it towards you, or you can push it towards the side, so you don't have it blasting your face. It blasts to the side. And that way you can control the side and um, same goes for the passenger you can control the vents direction on either side um, the heated seat is really strange that they include the heated seat for the passengers in the back seat um, so you can turn the heating seat for each one of the seats in the back um, which is just amazing because that's that's pretty fantastic most cars you only have heated seat in front um, and most luxury car you'll have heated seats on the back like side seats not in the middle uh, which I found really interesting and you can adjust the actual um, intensity of the heat so you can go three two or one depending on what a personal uh, pre the person preference are which is just amazing truly um, you know fantastic how they were able to think about that and include that um, and then just before we end the video, um, we talk about the vent, the air condition, um, and then the volume. You have manual control, the volume, which I like, because sometimes you're driving, you don't want to control the volume on someone else, maybe the person in the car seat here to control the volume, um, and they have that control right here. So there you go. So this is a full review of the car interior, the, the driver and passenger side. Um, and a full review of the center console. I will be installing the screen protector on this right now. Um, the charging is complete and I will be ending the video now. I'll be doing another video uh, to show you guys the back seats, the front space as well as the trunk space. So for now, we're gonna end the video. Please subscribe. I have so much more videos to do on this car. I hope you guys um, found it useful and if you can share this video, like this video, I really appreciate it so we can continue to, you know, obviously make this channel um, grow. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.